You know, I got a real problem with people, with men, so-called men, that try and take advantage of weak-willed women and get them to do things that they may not want to do. But they use certain words. They sell them on certain things. It's almost like a bird that gets caught into a snare, into a trap, and they lead them down paths of destruction that keep them from coming back from that deep, dark place. And then their lives are in such a bad predicament because women are different than men. With us men, we can be exposed to difficult environments. We can be exposed to war. We can be exposed to all kinds of danger because it's in our DNA, it's in our bodily function. To be able to be courageous, to be warriors, to be strong, to be leaders, to be tough, to get beaten up, to get back on our feet. Because that's how we learn. That's how we build character. But women, women need to be taken care of. Women need to be caressed. Women need to be guided. Women need to be protected. And frankly speaking, any woman that doesn't want to be like any of those women, you shouldn't even associate with them. Because they're not women that have any kind of spirit of God in them. Those are women of the world. But what I'm talking about is women that are trying to do the right thing and women that may have had some issues in the past, but yet these predators, these vultures, these scumbags, they get in there and they try and take them. And they, they think that they're good people, but they're not good people. And they lead them astray and they lead them down a deep, dark path so that they'll never come back. I despise men like that. I look at them as, as creatures, as cretins, as nobodies, as people that are the worst of the worst of character that I do not want to associate with. First Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. The Spirit clearly says that in later times, some will abandon the faith and follow deceiving spirits and things taught by demons. Such, teaching, such teachings come through hypocritical liars whose consciences have been seared with a hot iron. So we live in the later times. And a lot of people, a lot of men out there are deceived by spirits and they're being taught by demons. And they've been following things that are taught by demons and their brains and their minds have been seared with a hot iron. It says in, in chapter 5, verse 1, 1 Timothy, Do not rebuke an older man harshly, but extort him, excuse me, but exhort him as if he were your father. Treat younger men as brothers, older women as mothers, and younger women as sisters with absolute purity. See, when you deal with a woman, an older woman, you got to treat her as if, she, as if she was your mom, with respect, with gentleness, with the greatest care. When you come in contact with a younger woman, you got to treat her as if she was your sister with absolute purity, with absolute respect. Hi, bye. Not any kind of indecency or unsavory attitude so that you can you think you can get something out of it. Because remember, you're serving God. And remember, all of your actions are going to be held accountable for God. Anything seen and unseen. Everything is going to be brought out into the light. If it was in the darkness, it'll be brought out into the light. But I despise men that take advantage of weak-willed women and drop them down a black hole and get them to do things because they have certain desires that they want to fulfill. And they're willing to take advantage of people that are weak. And in this case, I'm talking about weak women. And I see this attitude that, you know, men, they can go out there and they can do whatever they want with whatever kind of women. Anybody that's teaching you any kind of doctrine like that, they're sending you to hell. They're sending you to a deep, dark place so that you will never come back. They do not have the spirit of God. Now, there are things that could be argued in the Old Testament and biblically where the founders, they had multiple wives and they had multiple children by multiple wives. And that's something that I can get, get into at a different time in a different conversation. But what I'm talking about here is indecency. Lack of character. And what I'm encouraging here for men, and I'm talking directly to you men, 
that you should be conducting yourself with the utmost behavior, with the utmost character, with the utmost decency when you deal with women. You should, you should not be going out there taking advantage of women and putting them in positions so that they have regrets later on in, in life because women are different. Women are built differently than men. Women should not be sleeping with men. Women should not be having multiple partners. Women should be presenting themselves as virgins to men. Now, I know it's a difficult thing to understand and it's a diff difficult thing to comprehend in the West because a lot of women are promiscuous. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to break through some of those barriers to get you to have a different mindset and to think about things differently. Because these women that, that live in the society that we live in, a lot of them, they've been poisoned. Their brains and their minds have been poisoned. So I encourage you to treat them as sisters. I encourage you to treat older women as mothers with absolute purity and to not follow deceiving spirits and things that are taught by demons, to keep your conscience from being seared with a hot iron. Jude uh, verse 4. Jude verse 4. It says, For certain men whose cond condemnation was written about long ago have secretly slipped in among you. They are godless men who changed the grace of our God into a license for immorality and deny Jesus Christ, our only sovereign and Lord. I encourage you to avoid godless men who changed the grace of our God into a license for immorality and deny Jesus Christ, our only sovereign and Lord. I, have, I, I encourage you to separate yourselves from these people. Avoid them when you see this kind of character, when you start to hear this kind of talk. This womanizing talk, this nonsense of how they want to go and seek out and sleep with as many women as possible and take advantage of women, get them drunk, get them to do certain things, take them out to get tattoos when they just met them and all kinds of scandalous behavior. They're godless men who may say that they believe in God and may say that they're believers but they don't believe in anything but their own stomach. They don't have faith in anything but themselves. And all they care about is themselves. So I encourage you to leave these godless men. Get rid of them. Get them out of your lives. Because they will destroy you. And you are the company that you keep. Never forget that. You are the five friends, the five people that you hang out with on a consistent basis. You are the mirror of the five people that you're constantly with. So the question I ask you is, who are you? Are you like these people? Or are you going to have the stomach? Or are you going to have the cojones to say, and oh, no. Second Timothy chapter 3, verses 6 to 7. They're the kind who worm their way into homes and gain control over weak-willed women who are loaded down with sins and swayed by all kinds of evil desires. Always learning, but never able to acknowledge the truth. And this goes uh, earlier, talks about in verse 1, chapter 3 of uh, first, excuse me, 2 Timothy. But mark this, there will be terrible times in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous, Without self-control, brutal, not lovers of the good, treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying its power, have nothing to do with them. They worm, they, they're the kind who worm their way into the homes and gain control of a weak-willed women, have nothing to do with them. Get them out of your life. I saw something the other day with an individual, with someone that I saw. And I will have nothing to do with this person ever again. Now, it's not a personal friend of mine. It's just somebody that I've met a few times. And when you see certain behavior in people, when you see people do, do certain things, you've got to make the decision to have nothing to do with them. 
You got to draw the line and you got to know what your red lines are and you got to make those difficult decisions. And sometimes you got to get mad. You got to have deep conviction about certain things because those deep convictions will help save your soul and help save those around you. You got to say to people, get behind me, Satan. You got to have the tough conversations in this life. Because nobody's going to do it for you. You're going to have to do it for yourself. And you're going to have to have deep convictions about it. And you got to talk to God about it with deep prayer. And deep conversation. Because we live in turbulent, evil times. I hope what I've just discussed makes sense. I hope it wasn't a rant. But this is something that I wanted to discuss. Because women need to be protected. It's important. They would be the mother of our children. They're the people that pass on culture in our society. And a lot of women are not being protected. And I think we as men, we need to protect women. Because if they're not being protected, then we're not doing our job. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. All the links are down below in the description box. BereanMan.Locals.com Questions, concerns, comments. Leave them down below. I'll talk to you soon. I'm out.